lot of you guys wanted to see us go to this location, so we drove four hours to get here. Guys, we're here at the Clown Motel. I legit have the chills right now. Clicking, dude. Made it, boys. See, the thing is, I ain't even afraid of clowns. Personally, I like clowns. <laughs> I spent most of my time viewing what I want from the outside. In 1985, the Clown Motel was opened by Leona and Leroy David in honor of their late father. Their father went by the name of Clarence David and he had owned a little over 150 clown statues that they wanted to use to decorate the motel. They had ran this motel for a decade and eventually sold it to a man named Bob Perchetti in 1995. Clown Motel owner Bob Perchetti. Clown collections just growing and growing and growing. They're all happy? Most of them are smiling. He's a clown connoisseur, if you will, turning 80 years old soon and wanting to spend more time with his actual family and less with his family of cute and creepy clowns. Bob Perchetti had ran the clown motel for 22 years and then eventually decided to sell it in 2017 and had put the property up for sale for $900,000. The current owner, Vijay Mahar, had sent his younger brother, Heen, to the US to find and buy a property to where he could become successful and run a company on on his own. My name is Haim and I'm a general manager here. 2019, uh, I took over this place and uh, start, you know, uh, refurbishing, you know, we changed so many things. I was collecting clowns when I was 14 years old. This is how I ended up here. So, and my family bought this place and I've, my collections ended up here. Heem had then come across the clown motel knowing that this was the perfect opportunity for his business. Not only that, Heem himself has been collecting clowns ever since he was 14. So this was definitely the perfect opportunity for him. Since Heem had taken over the clown motel, he had grown the clown collection from 600 all the way up past 2,000. Matter of fact, there's exactly 2,367 clowns. That's a lot of clowns. And yes, Heem does take clown donations. The Clown Motel is actually very famous all throughout YouTube. Lots of people like to go there and have paranormal investigations because of one specific thing. It's haunted because of the graveyard that's right you next to it. As for the graveyard, it was founded in 1901 and it had closed just 10 years later. But there is definitely no shortage of bodies that have been buried there in the graveyard. There is over 300 bodies buried underground, less than 100 feet away from the Clown Motel. The reason why this graveyard even existed is because of the 1902 Tonopah Plague and the Belmont Mine Fire that happened in 1911. Out of all the people that are buried in the Tonopah Cemetery, there are some very few special characters there. There was the Sheriff Thomas Logan who was shot in the back while trying to save others during a fight at a local brothel. There's also the sad story of George Devil Davis who was the first African-American man in Tonopah who was murdered by his wife. This next person you might not want to forget for the rest of this video because he might just play a part later on. There was a man that went by the name of William Big Bill Murphy. He was a part of the 1911 Belmont Mine Fire. Him and his brother were working early one morning between shifts when other miners were going in and out when a fire had started at the 1100 level deep underground. Big Bill went down into the mine using one of the mining cages that they would use to ascend and descend through the levels of the mine. Just starting out, Bill would fill the entire cage with miners who were either unconscious or too weary to 
carry themselves up. He did this a total of three times. And before his final trip down, he told everyone, well boys, I've made it two trips and I'm nearly all in, but I'll try again. When the cage had come back up, it was filled with more miners once again, but to their shock and horror, Bill was not to be seen. One of the miners had told the story that Bill had started to succumb to the fumes and he had collapsed off of this cage and fell, making it completely impossible for him to walk or escape out of this fire. There are so many people over the years who have visited the Clown Motel that have reported paranormal encounters. Nearly all of the rooms have their own stories, but out of these, the themed rooms have the largest amount of reported hauntings. Of these stories, there have been reports of apparitions standing at the edge of the bed or in a corner, knocks on the walls, even disembodied voices. It's all testimonial. People are saying that this is happening, that we saw the orb shooting, we saw the bathroom door open the shut, and they hear the voices from the bathroom. Mm. So this is all the common stories, you know. And top of that, in some rooms, people died. There's even a special story of three women who had asked a spirit to kindly fix a toilet that was in their room. And to their surprise, it did. So one time, uh, room number 108, the day they checked in, that time the toilet was running. So I told the ladies, hey, my maintenance guy gonna come tomorrow and he gonna fix it. So just bear off tonight and then it's gonna fix tomorrow. So they called me in the morning and said, hey, come on, I'm gonna show you something. I thought probably something broke, you know. They said, who fixed it? Say, Somebody fixed it. I said, who? So we were talking to the guy in the bathroom and we were just kidding. Hey, you live in bathroom. Can you fix our toilet? And they say we can hear, you know, that he put that lid down and he was fixing and he fixed it. That blew my mind. Keem was shocked to hear this and he even confirmed it by speaking to the on-site plumber who confirmed that he had not worked on this room whatsoever, but it was fixed. He even stated that a fix like this was far too difficult for someone without the proper training and experience. The activity in the cemetery, however, is reported to be sounds of rocks being thrown close nearby, sounds of voices or even babies crying. Some have even caught apparitions on camera or to the naked eye. People are saying that these hauntings are coming from the graveyard. Yes, absolutely right. But these are all just stories. We think that we should go down there and try to experience these things for ourselves. So let's hit the road. What? What? <laughs> so close to me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look at the guys real quick, everybody. I don't know. <laughs> Why it looks like a reindeer? <laughs> River? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh my god, he's super clown. <laughs> Where's mine? I may or may not have one on my <laughs> <laughs> River? River? My nose! <laughs> <laughs> My nose. Uh, Here, take nose mine. Up. Take mine. Hurry. Thank you. Hey, why is yours wet? <laughs> it's not wet. Why is yours wet, bro? It's not wet. Where's my nose? It's not Where's my wet. Where's my nose? Under the dresser. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. Are you stuck? I'm stuck. Oh no. What are you gonna do, step bro? Here. We have to wear them. Yes. Sorry, guys. We're just very, very. Are you still filming? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and now for a sweet sponsorship ahead. In fact, both local San Francisco papers are investing a lot of money to try and get to service just like that started. Science editor Steve Newman reports on one person already using the brand new system. Do you guys mind if I crash here tonight? It's getting pretty bad out there. Yeah, man, I don't care. I don't think they'll mind. Did the power just go out? Uh, Nick, can you hand me that flashlight? It's uh, it's on the shelf. Yo, did your power go out too? Yeah, kind of weird. Did you guys put these here? No. Hey, 
Hey guys. <laughs> Hi. Okay, now that I've got you guys here, I need you guys to follow me. So what I need you guys to do is I need you to follow me into the bathroom. You mean all of us? All of us in the bathroom, Nick. Wait, like all of us in the bathroom, like, like together? Okay. Wait, so you're you're saying me, Nick, Wyatt, and you all in the same bathroom together at the same time at 11 o'clock p.m.? Exactly. Wait, so you're saying... <laughs> yeah? Right, I think let's do this. Okay. <laughs> you good? You sure? No more? Come on in. Everybody get to the corner. Okay, I'm gonna show you something really cool. Oh. You guys are gonna lose it. Wait, what? What is going on, man? Just trust me. You guys ready for this? Yeah. Okay. Hunter killer. Hunter killer. Hunter killer. <laughs> what are you doing? No, what is hunter killer, bro? Just wait. Oh my god. It actually worked. How wait, did you what? do that? Hold on, hold on. What? Oh, it actually worked. I recognize this. What? It... I totally know. Guys, Where are we? We are in the clown motel. The clown motel room. Wait, why are we here though? Because. We're here to play Hunt a Killer. Wait, what's Hunt a Killer? I'm glad you asked. So Hunt a Killer is a game where you work with your friends together to solve murder mysteries. You know what's better than having four friends solving murder mysteries? Having five people. Wait, what are you talking about? <laughs> mean five? We, we have got, Mr. Clown. We got Krusty the Clown. <laughs> so this game is actually packaged very well. It sounds like it's a really immersive game where you actually feel like you're a group of detectives trying to solve a real murder. Exactly. And what's really cool about them is that they send you a brand new murder case every month. What? That's so cool. Yeah. yeah. You know what's even cooler? You gotta play this game as a pact. Ow. Owie, owie, ow, owie. <laughs> Stop, <bro>. Owie. <laughs> a pact to play Hunt a Killer. Each box comes with a variety of pages and documents and pictures, everything you need to solve a case. They literally get so in detail and so in depth. It's just insane on how they do it. Look, they even have emails and they have police documents. They definitely helped us a lot to solve this case. Is this a picture of the victim too? Well, we won't know until we start solving, right? But for all we know, it could be a picture of Nick's mom. <laughs> <laughs> I think so far one of my favorite things about Hunt a Killer is it reminds me so much of when we've done a cold case on our channel. Just like the Ketty case. Also, if you find yourself getting stuck trying to solve the cold case, they actually have a really big community that will help you out without giving up too much information. Not only that, every purchase to Hunt a Killer, a portion of that money goes to solving a real life cold case. Last but not least, if you guys want your own murder mystery Hunt a Killer box, you guys can use the code Twin Paranormal to get $10 off your first purchase. We already know that you guys either sit on your bed, sit on your couch to binge watch our videos, so why don't you guys go and pick up one of these boxes and solve a case for yourself? I know I'm gonna do it. Are you gonna do it? We're gonna do it right now. <laughs> oh, without further ado, hope you guys do enjoy the murder mysteries, and we hope you enjoy this episode. Okay, guys, so we have two rooms here. We have 111 and we have 210. So the plan is we're gonna send Nick and Wyatt up to 210 and River and I are gonna stay down here at 111. So I'm gonna go ahead and introduce ourselves to whoever is here and then we're gonna split off. Okay, I'd like to introduce all four of us. My name is Ryan. My name is Nick. My name is Wyatt. My name is River. Now we are here to communicate with anybody who is here and would like to speak with us. We're gonna send Nick and Wyatt up to room 210. So if you'd like to communicate with them, they're gonna be up there. Or if you'd like to stay and communicate to us, we're gonna stay in here. I have an object here, right here that I set on the table. This object, all you have to do is walk up to it and it'll pick up your energy. It'll pick up how strong you are. So if you hold on to this antenna, it'll buzz and it'll make a bright light. Okay, I'm gonna move away from it. So if you feel comfortable enough, maybe you can hold on to it, show us that you're there. And in the meantime, I'm gonna sit right here and hope. That was right in the bathroom. And in the meantime, I'm gonna sit right here and hope. That was right in the bathroom. That was. You in there? 
All right, you might have seen us walking around and coming in and out. My name is Nick. My name is Wyatt. The only reason we're here is to try to talk to you and... Couple knocks. Thank you if that was you. But as I was saying, we just want to talk to you and just know that you're here. Somebody's... I just heard something. Maybe the... I was just gonna say, maybe the table, just some knock on the table. Thank you so much. Can you hold on to that longer to prove that you're here? Use your energy? Manifest everything you can. If you don't have enough energy, you are more than welcome to use all the energy out of this object, this camera that River is holding. We have a couple devices, as we call them. This first one lights up colors and makes a louder noise whenever you touch the metal part, like this. And I'm gonna set that right here. So feel free to walk up to it and touch it, or do whatever. And the next device I have is a really good option for you to use your words instead. So if you think of a word or maybe a phrase, you can just say it out loud or use all your energy to it and we'll be able to hear it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Can you please let go of that? Please let go of it. Thank you. Was that you scratching on the wall? Maybe you can answer through that? Did you scratch on our wall? You did! Holy shit. You did! Like really faint tapping, I can't tell. Mm -hmm. We're coming close to you if that's okay. I'm gonna sit right here at this table. Is there any way you could maybe Make a noise or knock on something? I like to talk. Ooh. That's awesome. That is wonderful. Is there any way you could tell us your name? Oh, I don't mean to be rude. I'm sorry. Here. Here's a chair. If you can, sit here. Maybe you can answer a couple of questions by holding on to that object. As like a yes, or just, just to show us that you're here. We'd like to know whatever you'd you have for us, if you can. What are you still doing in this room? As soon as you touch this, that'll let us know that you sat down and you agree with what we have to say. Is that okay? Use your energy. Thank you so much. Oh. Please. Okay. You live here at the motel? That was the bathroom again. Billy. I asked the name earlier. You did. Billy. Hi, Billy. Is that you over there? Wyatt just asked, do you live here at the motel? Or did you? Is there more than one of you here? That's, That's in here. That is definitely in here. Definitely in here. Still gone. Try to let us know. Use all the energy you can. You can even drain the battery from our devices. Thank you. There's a clown over there on the shelf to the right. There's two. The one to the right, by any chance, can you knock that down onto the ground? You think you could do that? You think you have that power? Please knock that down. Use the energy of my camera if you have to. I got plenty of energy here for you. It takes you a long time to reply. I'm sure that uses a lot of energy. Did something happen to you here? Here in a minute, we're gonna make our way to the main lobby. 
we're gonna go and and try and speak with whoever is over there because I know that that area a lot of spirits a lot of you like to hang around there you know you don't have to stay here if you don't want to if this wasn't a good place for you oh shit what it freaked me out yeah would you like to stay or would you like to leave before we do go over there we're just trying to get a little bit of information to see if you're here so far, you're showing us something. I don't know if you're strong enough. I don't know how to help you be strong and make you strong enough so that you can physically move something for us. But I can try if you give us a sign somehow. Maybe you can just show yourself here. Do you like the theme? So you do. Thank you. Thank you so much. I think they're very colorful, and I'm wearing a clown nose right now. I was just trying to go with the theme. If you don't like it, I'll take it off, or I can leave it on. Can you tell us what you did? Why are you guilty? I worked here. I worked here. Did you also ask that? Whoa, it's yeah. like taking so long to respond. Yeah, it, it takes a really long time. To my knowledge, to all of our knowledge, there's not, I think there's only like two people staying in this motel. Yeah, they're all the way on the other side of the motel. Yeah. 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 What was that? I have no idea. I think something's... I think somebody just sat. Shh. Did you not just hear that voice? No. I think somebody, after you got up, went and sat right there. Did you hear that? Yeah. It was really loud. That's loud. Yeah, that was really loud. You hear that click too? Mm -hmm. That was the EMF in my hand. We just heard you over there. Can you come over here? That was so. There has to be. Like I just said, somebody sat there. That didn't light up any colors. So that means that they're further away from it. Where are you in this room right now? Can you please make a noise? What was that sliding? Was that you doing that? Make another noise for us. Please. We're just trying to prove that you're here with us. What happened to you? If you knock that clown down over there, that'll make us believe in you. Why did you choose to stay here? Feeling. Feeling. We know you can do it. Is there any way you can touch that device on the ground for us? It would be really awesome to know where you are. You can come as close as you like, too. Death. Death. There it is again. Yeah. Do you want us to get close? If we get close, will you knock it down, maybe? This stopped going, too. Yeah, it did. So I'm, I'm hearing all the noises right here. Are you moving around at all, or just standing still? Billy. Billy again. Same name, yeah. Billy, I'm sorry I haven't used your name a lot. I have this other object here. This object is kind of the same as what you were just doing over there. This one lights up a bunch of colors. If you can grab onto my arm, it'll show us that you're here. I can even just set it here. I don't have to hold on to it. I'm not here to scare you in any way. He's not here to scare you in any way. We would just like to speak with you. Thank you. Please knock over that, that doll. Who? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for trusting us. Keep doing that. My legs. Something wrong? Mm-hmm. It's right there. What's wrong with your legs? It's okay that you didn't knock over the doll. Okay? But I am gonna let you know this. We're gonna make a... Thank you. 
Please let go. Thank you. Holy shit. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So you're listening to me. I hope so. So what we're going to do is we're going to make our way out of here. You're more than welcome to follow behind us and come speak with us in the in the lobby, in the main lobby. Okay? Please follow behind us. Please continue to speak with us. I hope you will. Ooh! Mm -hmm. That was a Thank lot you. more. Thank you. I think they're, oh, as soon I as think I, they're coming with I, us. Literally, as soon as I started going close, it freaking stopped. Do that again. That was really cool. Do you want to come with us, yes or no? Make it blink twice. If you can quickly grab it, let go, and then quickly grab it one more time. Can you do that? Is that possible? One more time. Closer. Closer. Closer to where? Which way? Are you on the bed there with Nick? Let's try that one more time before we leave. Please grab it twice really quick and let go. Right okay. here? You don't need to bed. worry. We'll walk you there. You can walk with us. It doesn't matter. That, that was, was twice. twice! That was twice. Thank you so much. That was twice. Thank you so much. Okay, we're gonna move on. We just asked if, you know, we said we're gonna make our way to the lobby. And I was like, can you please grab the EMF meter twice? Real quick, twice. It did. Blink, blink. We heard scratching, lots of thumping. Anything for you guys? Right away, actually, we got a name and we got a bunch of intelligent responses. His name is Billy. He told us his name is Billy twice. Get this, we had the REM pod over there. By, like, in front of the bathroom? Mm. Yeah. And I'm like, can you not reach the REM pod? Because he was messing with the EMF. I was like, try the REM pod. And then he says, closer, my legs. What? Yeah. And he was, he's No laying, way. He's laying in one of these beds. What? He, he might be a paraplegic or something. Are you still running the app? Yeah. If there is anybody in here, you don't know us. I'm Ryan, that's River. Well, I just want to say thank you and the guys. Yeah, thank you, Billy. For letting them speak with you and giving them information. I hope everything is okay and I hope all is well. We all hope all is well with you and we, we're gonna move on, okay? Let's make our way to the lobby. Okay, Ghost Gang, we are here in the infamous Clown Motel lobby. So let's just get into our investigation. Wait, what was that? <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> I love that. Can I have one? Oh, dude. I was trying to... My hand, my rules. Here, Nick. All right, let's get this. Let's get this bread. Let me have some skin. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> You didn't miss like yeah. Okay. Now my mic's in my way. I'd like to introduce all four of us. My name is Ryan. My name is Nick. My name is Wyatt. And my name is River. Now we are here to communicate with anyone who'd like to hopefully have a conversation with us. And we'd just like to hear your story if that's okay. You can talk to us any way you're able. If you're able to knock on something, maybe make a noise or... Try to use your voice. We're gonna be walking around too. And anywhere we walk, I'm gonna have this little box in my hand and it's gonna light up more colors as soon as you get close to it. This whole room is very colorful. We know you'll probably like that. So please feel free to talk to us any way you can. Ticked once. Thank you. Can you do that again? The faintest second light. So a long time ago, some investigators were here and they were really focused on this clown and they caught your hand or somebody moving the clown's hand off of this lap here. So if you can, maybe move that for us or you can just show us that you're here. We're friendly. We just want to know who you are and find out why you are here. We want to know if you came from the graveyard. Ooh, ooh. Wait, I okay, missed closer. that. I missed that. That was loud. Whoa, 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 whoa. It sounded like someone walking up behind you, too. Did it not? Yeah. yeah. It straight sounded like someone was walking up behind you. Yeah, something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello. His isn't going off. My no, head. mine's not going off. 
Can you switch over to that one? No way. Oh. No <laughs> way. Are you kidding me? Did you just see that what? You just saw that? Okay. What that sounded like is, is one of the porcelain clown dolls being picked up and set back down. A little bit shelf. like like a tap. That's exactly what huh? it sounded like. I heard a step. That was right over there. Wait, did that just go up? Yeah, there? it just ticked twice. No, it didn't. It just ticked twice. Please make that go off again. Is it easier for you to... Ooh! Yours didn't go off? No, not at all. No way. They're right here, Ryan. Right where you are. Do you like being seen? Or do you want us to walk around and you can do something where we're not? This is awesome. Go we're going to step a little bit further over here where we heard that stepping, that noise. Okay, I'm going to set this object right here. Oh, this looks so creepy, bro. I have another object here that I'm going to go and grab. And I'll Dude, explain how to use did it. Did you just see that? Uh huh. See what? Your EMF meter just went crazy. Did it really? Yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. We really appreciate you showing us right away that you're here. This is amazing. This is exactly what we're looking for. This object here in my hand, it's a little bit like that. But what it does is it buzzes. It makes a buzzing noise and it also lights up. All you have to do is as soon as I turn it on, You'll see a little bit of a light here, and you hold on to this antenna, okay? I'm going to set it somewhere, and if you can please find it, hold on. The closer you get to it, the louder it gets, the more the lights start to flicker and set off. Now, that's going on, that's going on. Heavily, heavily. Yellow. Okay. Red. Okay. Hello. Hi, I'm going to set this right here then. Okay, all you have to do is walk up, touch it like that, okay? The closer you get, like I said, the higher the lights go, the louder it gets. Please walk up to that and hold on to that if you can. Whoa. Was that you, Nick? Wyatt? Might have been. Did you hear the three knocks? There's three. Thank you. Boy! Oh, oh my god. Thank you. Can you touch mine a lot harder, just like you did that one? Can you make the colors go to yellow or red? You don't have to be shy. We're all friendly. We're having a good conversation so far. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, I missed it. That Damn one too. Okay, now that you're showing us a little bit that you're here, we heard this odd sound right over here. It sounded like you were, I don't know, maybe you lifted one of these dolls here, one of these porcelain pieces. And you might have set it back down on the shelf. If you did that, can you move that hand over there on that clown right in front of Wyatt? Wait, what is that thumping? I don't know. Why, you're not moving, are you? No. Where are you? Oh, shit. Okay. That was not Wyatt. I've got this other object here. You might like this one because it plays a really cool symphony. And if you're interested in clowns, like we might think you are, then this like kind of gives you the clown feeling. Just the music that you would hear if you're there at a carnival and you see a clown just walking around, which is really cool. I love it. All you have to do is this sensor, this piece right here that you see, when I turn it on, if you walk by it, if anybody can see me, you walk by it, it starts to play this, the music. And I'm telling you, you're going to like it. It starts to play this, the music. And I'm telling you, you're going to like it. Okay, I'm going to set it right here. And what I want you to do is walk right past here. It's going to calibrate real quick, guys. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate. Never mind. You already know. Oh, <laughs> what? Thank you. Can you maybe walk? Thank you! Right was that mine? You? Mine was just going off? Can you please just stand in front of it? Stand right in front of it. I think they're just testing it. I think they like it. 
Can you do it a bunch of times that? in a row and make it a what song? What's that weird noise? Steps. Steps. That was weird. I... Oh! Oh my gosh! That just scared me. I felt it in the floor. Right there. Yeah. Thank you. I can hear the steps when that goes off. Can you please stand in front of that for a long time? God, thank you. Just a little bit closer and it'll hold that song. You almost got it. Did you hear that? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. I got a question for you. Oh. Thank hang you. on, thank hang you. on. <laughs> Whoever it is doesn't like to interrupt. They straight, yeah, they straight stopped because you said you had a question. Okay, I got a question. Do you like this place? If you do, please stand in front of that for a very long time. There was no way. <laughs> Dude, no I, way. I legit have the chills. Did you see this one? I legit have the chills right now. We can't do this. Look, look. No. I mean, if I get too close. Well, I'm zoomed in and look how far I am. Okay. I'm far. It doesn't have that wide of an angle either. Here, I can like even step time. back to prove it's not me. Please set that off right now. Show us that you're here. Something loud? Yeah, I just heard that. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Distant. Was that right next to you? Yeah. I just heard it over there too. Please set that off. Do not be afraid. Do you enjoy this music? Oh, there you go. <laughs> This is insane, guys. This is so cool. Okay, can you do us a favor? If Since you're standing there, can you walk from there to there, hold on to that object? If you can do that, that proves to us that we are we're talking to you and you're listening. Sure. Please? You think that meant sure? I think that might have been it. Hey! There it is. There, it is. Oh, there is. Oh, there was another way. Oh, hold on, that's and me. And the music box? Is that me? I don't know. I don't think you're close enough. Thank you. That was really cool. What the hell, dude? That is insane. I'm probably not in the right position to... We love it. Thank you so move. much. I'm moving. We love all of this. You are doing so well. Thank you, must, you so much. You must love the attention because so many people from all around the world just love to come here. That's true, right? Please make that hand fall down. Somebody caught it. We just want to know if what they caught was real, okay? If you can physically move something, I know your energy is here. You can show us that your energy is here. It's very obvious, but if you can... What? I'm, I'm almost positive I just heard something gets set down once again. I heard same, that. Same, it same noise. Like porcelain. I heard that. It sounds like a porcelain piece. Same Let me noise. demonstrate it. Careful. Okay, listen. That's what I heard. That's exactly. literally what I just heard. I, I'm telling you, that is the same. And I know, I, it's so obvious that it's something porcelain hitting the shelf. Hey, we're not ignoring you, by the way. Yeah, thank you for letting us know you're still here. We love talking to you. We would never ignore you, I promise. It sounds to us like, like you're lifting something up and setting it down. Can you do that? Can you do that for us? Mine. Did you just go? In my hand? That was yours. I didn't even see that one. Mm -hmm. Did you see that one? Uh-uh. Are you standing right next to Nick? Is that you? I just want to say thank you. We are very pleased with you and thankful because you're giving us this opportunity and I hope you're happy with us and maybe feel comfortable with us. I got an idea. Be right before you said I got an idea, I heard a knock. What's ask up? Him, ask him what, which clown in here is their favorite and if they'll move it. Can you maybe show us something? We want to know which clown in here, it could be any of them. 
Anyone that you... It could be any clown that's your favorite. Please choose one and make a noise near it or physically, if you can, move that specific clown. It could be any. Any of the porcelain ones, any of the stuffed ones, the big ones, the ones hanging on the string, any of them. You heard what I, I just heard, right? I heard a knock. Was that know. a knock? Or something being set down? Or something being set down. I don't know which That's direction that I'm came thinking. from. It wasn't loud enough to tell where it came from. Why? The the thing is, with with me, I can't see which one they set down. Right. I'm trying to get a wide angle so I can see if that anything's sounded, moving. That sounded... River, you're right. That sounded like a porcelain something setting down. It sounded like something like a glass being set down on something wooden or like a, a table, you know what I'm saying? Can you do that again just so we're sure, please? That was clear. Yeah. That was this way, I think. That sounded like something heavier being set down very carefully. Either right here... Right here, then. Here, come right here, Riff. Here, Do you here. see anything that you could set down that could be similar? On this side, there's a wooden shelf. On this side of the pillar. Right here, too, there's a shelf. You're right. There's so much to look at. It is so hard to spot. Now it comes down to this. I don't know if you have enough energy, but if you can, manifest everything you have. If you feel like you don't have the energy, have enough power, you have permission to use the energy out of this and the one in River's hand. Please come sit over here. Show us that you're here. I can sit next to you if you want. And if you make the hand fall on me, it might scare me a little bit. But that would be a really cool experience to have with you. It's gonna be really entertaining, we promise. That was... I yeah, I hear thing. clicks, knocks. Guys, there was a little knock right here. Did you hear something? Further that way? Right behind. Three? Right behind. Was that three? Those are heavy. You guys do know there's no rooms above us, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, that's right. Here, Nick, yeah. step heavily in here. It sounds exactly like that. Yeah. See, like this. Exactly how it sounds. Should we try the Oculus for a little bit? See if they want to talk? Yeah. I'm going to give you the opportunity to speak to us with your words. I just saw the EMF go off all the way over there. And the music box is not going off. Did you just make that spike? Please do that again. I hear that freaking whatever that is. Stepping. Or, mm -hmm. You're hearing it? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to see it. Super still. Thank you. I saw the light from here. Did you? Perfect. Yeah. Thank you so much. I have this object that I'm going to turn on, and you can use your words. You can tell us who you are, maybe give us some information, tell us a little bit about yourself. We'd love to know everything about you, so please. How this object works is you can walk up to it, and you should be able to use your energy or whatever you can manifest. Hopefully we're, we're trying to push you a little bit to the limit. I don't know if you've worked this hard in a while, but we've heard so many stories that you were able to show yourself and you were able to physically move things and speak to people. So we're gonna give this a shot here. Is there anybody in here with us right now? If you can, walk up here and speak. Here. Here, EMF too? Did. I just said. Yeah. Here. That was super weird. Okay. So you're here. Dude. Are you not hearing this walking right here? You're not hearing I, that? I can hear it. Dude, that is so clear. That was carpet. That was carpet? That was that was right here. What's your name? Whoever's in here that we've been talking to. We'd love to call you by your name 
so that we can be respectful towards you and speak with you. What was that? That was hard to make out. Okay, something. Mm -hmm. Did you just give us her name? You said okay, something. That was something up there. EMF again, just one tick. Well, Maybe you can repeat your name one more time. Try and speak as clear as possible, okay? Air. Air. Oh, yikes. Mm -hmm. Are you still back there? Why don't you sit next to Ryan? Please continue to talk to us. Are you from the graveyard? Is that where you're from? Is anyone filming that? Is that the EMF? Yeah. Yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. Did you get it? Mm -hmm. So is that a yes? Maybe you can speak in here and say an answer. The energy is spiking very high on this thing. And usually when it does, that means somebody's trying to like speak to us through it. So I've noticed every time when we use this, It'll start at two bars, and that's like just the normal energy that it's producing itself. And when something comes up with good mass of energy, they start to speak in it. Literally, the bars go all the way up to like eight or ten. Wow. Yeah, it's going to red right now. Look at that. See how much energy is pumping through it right now? It doesn't happen like that always. When we were filming at the River Inn, the whole time this thing was pumping on two and then every time somebody would speak through it it'd, it'd jump up to eight or ten whoa that's some heavy feet yeah that one did you just hear that yeah what was that oh that was loud I just want to say, we're going to make our way down to the graveyard to finish our investigation up. Maybe you could give us a sign down there, tell anybody you know- Whoa, whoa, whoa. Were you just filming that way? Mm -hmm. Thank you, dude. Was that to let us know that, yes, that's your path down there? Because we'd like to continue to speak with you, and we have these other objects that will help I you feel, a little bit more. I feel so weird standing right there, man. I legit felt like someone was behind me. I heard that. I heard it. Again? Who? Yeah. What? I just heard scraping on the wall. Right there. Where Dude, I can't, bro. I'm, yeah. I'm done standing here. Like I said, we're going to finish up our conversation down there in the oh. grave. No. That was go. Said go. Is that a good go or a bad go? Do you want us out of here? Weird. Nothing came through this yet. Okay, weird. For a while. We hear a few things out of that, and then we're asking questions they don't answer through it until we talk about going down to the graveyard. I'm oh, thinking geez. they told us to go. But the whole time it's been quiet, look at my battery. They sucked your battery down? What? Dude, I'm on one bar. What? I gotta, I gotta change. Okay, we're gonna finish everything up here. We're gonna make our way down to the graveyard. I think you might have told us to go down to the graveyard. Is that true? I just heard the hand click. I just heard the hand click. Dude, again, bro. Ah! Oh, did you catch that one? Did goes. you just catch that? Yep. Dude, again, bro. Ah! Oh, did you catch that one? Did you just catch that? Yep. Did you just catch Are that? Are you sure? Did you yeah. just? Are you sure? Did you just- Are you- I help. Wait, are you sure you caught it? 100%. You- You sure? Absolutely positive. Okay, we're- You said you heard it? I heard it. I heard the hand clicking, dude. I... We worked hard. Yeah. We worked hard. Or here we are? Here no. we are? No, it was we worked hard or I yeah, worked hard. I heard the worked hard at the end. Did you just tell me you worked hard to move that hand down? Dude, did we just catch that? Please tell me you caught that. Oh, I got it. Dude, we gotta got check, it. man. We have to check. It fell, it, it like fell completely off the lap. I, I didn't even see it. Yeah. Dude, it literally <laughs> fell towards me, bro. It's on the chair now. 
<laughs> you should feel how shaky I am. I'm like really excited, but holy f did that yeah, just yeah, happen? Dude. Ryan's shaking so bad right now. What about this? Can you put it back? Oh my god, yeah. dude. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine. Okay, we're gonna make our way down to the graveyard. So this object here. Sometimes, oh, find something? so we have one of those EMF meters right there, right there, and we have a REM pod there. We have a music box as well that plays like a cool jingle from it. All of those set off. I turn this on. Sometimes spirits speak crazy through it. Yeah. Not much at all. But what we got was, I said, if anybody's here, please step over here. And they said, here, and that was it. Usually it says way more words than that. And then I, I had mentioned, we're going to go down to the graveyard, and they said, go right after oh my god whoa what that one's going off crazy too did you catch that yeah this object's still going you can still speak through it okay another thing that we heard three times i don't know if you've heard it it sounded like one of the porcelain pieces that you have yeah. it sounded like somebody picked it up and then set it back down three times we heard it and what's weird is it wasn't the same exact sound. One sounded like it was one of the smaller porcelain pieces and it sounded like a smaller thing hitting the wood. And then we heard a big one. Wow. Okay, we're gonna make our way down to the graveyard. Hopefully we can speak with any of you down there or whoever is in here. Maybe you can make your way down to the graveyard and we're gonna finish up our conversation down there. Thank you for yeah, letting me. Go there! It just said go there! <laughs> it said, it said go there. Now we have to. Okay guys, so this is the last area that we're gonna go and this is literally also what we've been waiting for is to go to the really haunted cemetery right next to the Clown Motel. People say that this cemetery is what makes the Clown Motel haunted. So let's go and finish up our investigation. I'm really excited. Hello, if there is anybody here in this graveyard, you see the four of us, I'd like to introduce all four of us. My name is Ryan. My name is Nick. My name is Wyatt. My name is River. We are here to communicate with anybody, okay? So if there is anybody here who would like to speak with us for a couple of minutes, we're not here to anger you in any way. We're gonna respect you. We just wanna have a talk, find out if, if it's true, if you guys are coming from here and going to the Clown Motel. So we're gonna make our way over to that other side over there. Guys, it is so cold out here. It's gonna be so rough for us to investigate during the winter. Last winter was pretty rough. This very well may be one of the last few outdoor locations we're gonna do for a little while. I think I, I might have some gonads left in me this winter. The older I get, my gonads start to shriek. <laughs> Just a little bit. Did you hear that? <laughs> Just a little bit. God, I'm 26 years old and I'm still hitting puberty apparently. Is there anybody over here that'd like to communicate with us? We have these objects. If you can maybe give us a sign somewhere. Maybe speak. If you can say a word. We can use these objects so that you can communicate with us a little bit better. Why does that grave look like a crib? Right. Is there somebody who'd like to speak with us here? Oh God, dude. The vibe, the feeling over here. Kind of made my chest a little bit warm. Well, like the closer we think got about over this, here. guys. We're standing near a bunch of bones, a bunch of people. A lot of people who have long passed on. And the crazy thing is like some of them probably didn't pass on. I mean, clearly yeah. some of them didn't pass on and that's why They've been going down to the Clown Motel. Exactly. You know what I realized? What? I think that was designed as a crib because these are... Babies. These are short. These are... Oh! These are kids. My God! These are short. That's so sad, dude. I... Whoa. Did somebody just throw something? Is that why That's you moved? That's what I thought. Did you hear that? You guys hear, heard that? Yeah, I, I absolutely heard it. It was right next to me right here. Whoa. Wait, what was that? Was that like metal? That was over there, yeah. I see this flat surface here. I've got this object. I just want to be respectful here, okay? I'm not going to walk on your graves. This isn't going to harm anything, I promise. This object, what it does is you walk in front of it, 
It'll let us know that you're here. It'll make music. So if you can walk in front of this object, I'm gonna set it right here. I'm gonna demonstrate what it does too, okay? Let me turn it on here. So what you need to do, if you can please, walk right in front of this walkway. Thank you so much. So you are here with us. Is there any way you could move out of the way of that? Walk away from it? All you have to do is move just a little bit out of the way. Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! I'm gonna try something else now, okay? I'm gonna shut this off. I wanna try a different method. Thank you so much for walking in front of that. We really appreciate it, okay? I'm gonna get this away from your grave. Okay, so I have this object. We've tried it a couple times with a couple of spirits, a couple of people. I have this flashlight here. I'm gonna set it down, and if you can, turn it on. What you're gonna do is, is use all the energy you can and turn it on, please. What was that? Was that whistling? Was that whistling or a fence? That sounded like bells jingling or something. Bells. Right? It hell did, huh? Okay. okay, I set that flashlight right there. Now, I don't know if you have enough energy, but I hope you can manifest enough energy. All you have to do is hold on to it, put everything you have into it, and turn it on, please. If you turn it on, we will leave. We do not want to disrespect you in any way. We're not here to disrespect you in any way. I hear footsteps on gravel. Is there anyone out here? Anyone among the dead that can hear me? Oh, I heard the gravel too. Can you come over here and talk to us? Everyone is welcome. Please, turn that flashlight on. We will leave as soon as you do. All you have to do is walk up to it. Give us a sign. Oh, is a whistle? Was that another rock or object being thrown? Might have been. Kind of is what it would sound like. Kind of is what it would sound like. I don't know if they're interested in the flashlight, guys. And that's totally okay. We hope that we're not disturbing you in any way. We just want to be able to talk to you and give you the option to speak to us or speak to anyone one last time. What? There was some... There was like this. Yeah, I keep hearing this. We're gonna leave that flashlight there. And you can do whatever you like. You can turn it on or... We're gonna walk away a little bit from it, okay? I just want to say thank you, whoever did make their way to the Clown Motel, whoever did make their way over there on that property. Thank you for giving us a night that we will never forget. We will always remember this. If you need to move on, if you want to move on, I hope that you can do so. What you need to do is use everything you have, imagine a great great big ball of light. Go to the light. You don't need to be stuck here. That was a symphony. That was a symphony with a whistle. It was like... <laughs> and laughing. Nick, bust out your phone real quick before we stop this. Take five photos. No flash. Exposure up. And let's do this. Please walk over here. That was a scream. That was a scream. That was 100% a scream. Oh my god, I'm. That was a, like a girl on the top of her lungs, dude. What the? Where? I keep hearing. Where? That was right over here? Yeah, I keep hearing stuff that way. We can try and help you. Please come over here. We can try. We'll do the best that we can. 
do not be afraid to go to the light. There's something better over there than being here, stuck. I, I saw a shadow. I, I saw a shadow you. walking right there. I told you. Walking right there. Guys, come, please. Guys, guys, right there. Anything? You can't see. Come on. That's where I saw the shadow too. Oh my god. What did I just see? What did I just see? Dude, it was right there, right, right there in front of you. Right here. Is there anybody here? Right here? I saw it here, and then I couldn't see it anymore. And then it was right here. Go to the white light. Please, move on. We're gonna leave here. Thank you so much. Okay, Ghost Gang, tonight has been... Uh, we say this a lot. We say this a lot. Every time we go and investigate, this is why we do it, because we love it so much. We love getting evidence. We love having a good time. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We have a good one for you next week as well. So we'll see you next week. Peace. Damn. Damn. River just wanted to karate chop my piece for some reason.